Yeah. Right, Renard's it fun? <laughs> <laughs> so these are the bits and bobs we've got in town, let me show you. Hey. My esophagus is spaghetti. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Hello, how are we all? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel and to my vlog where I'm out of isolation, <laughs> which is very exciting. It's been a solid, it was 10 days in the end, which, you know, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm well, and I'm out and about. I'm in the car. I've got a really nice chill weekend there this weekend. Me and Zara just kind of miss being out and about in London. So, it's gonna have a really lovely London weekend vlog, which I hope you're kind of in the mood for. First things first, we're wrapped up this morning. Got my hoodie on and my coat. It's so cold. I'm not sure of the temperature, but I think it's like, it's it's quite chilly. Whoa. It's actually four degrees, it's so four. it feels like. I know I've got some Canadian viewers and whenever I said it's like two, three to four degrees, they're like, try minus 20, <laughs> but it feels chilly. Um, anyway, we're in the car this morning because we're off to pick up a exciting piece of furniture. I said this in my previous video. We love our dining set, and um, it's great. However, I did replace the table on a whim, and it was just a fairly cheap table from somewhere called Wayfair. We've had it for a year, and it's just starting to wobble, not great. So um, we've I found some lovely, lovely, lovely seller on Gumtree, and um, it's a 19th century uh, French barn house style antique dining table with six chairs. Apparently it came from a church. He bought it from Fulham Antique Shop 15 years ago, so it's quite old, um, but it's solid wood, uh, which is gonna be interesting getting that in our flat. However, I feel like it's gonna be uh, like an investment piece. So, I'm um, obviously not gonna be able to fit a dining table and six chairs in a mini. So, this is our method of transportation. <laughs> so this is our little zip van. Uh, basically, zip vans are great. I, I think that, oh, zip vans are pretty much a global thing, right? I'm sure. I know they've definitely no got idea. them. In, well, basically, uh, Zara's here, by the way. She's just in a, in a state next to you. Morning. Um, yeah, so the great thing about zip van is that you can hire it for as long or as little as you need. And that's it. It's got fuel in it. So you're just good to go. Um, I'm obviously 24. To legally hire a van, I think you've got to be 25. But zip van do young insurance, even though I've been driving since I was 17. So, um, hang on, who tops it up with fuel? So, Tops you're supposed to return it back with at least a quarter of a tank, right? But we're so, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Oh, my battery's flashing, we're getting it from Wimbledon. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd put a new battery in this anyway. Um, if my camera dies, I'll film some bits on my iPhone, but yeah, we're gonna get in now, yeah. right? We're in our zip van. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a kind of Insight as to what it's going to be like when we're moving. I'm going to have to sit beside you. I, that has, I can't get in. I'm so excited. Um, it's quite a big van to be fair. I just said to Zara, I've only ever driven a van once and it was literally just for a bit of vlog footage about three metres up a road. Um, and that was some years ago. So this is going to be interesting. What's wrong? I can't get that in. In or out? <laughs> this is a good start. Also with vans, the they've got no rear view mirror, so that's going to be interesting. So we're going to have to use these side mirrors. All right, here we go. Oh, For a minute there, I didn't think it was going to start up. Oh. Right, let's get this on. Uh, there we go. Wait for this to demist. So, picked up the table and chairs from a very, very nice man. Um, he was very, very kind. Sorry, Cyrus is holding the camera. So I was now a tripod. <laughs> um, yeah, really nice guy. And uh, he had a lovely dog called Ted, which is very nice. So we're driving home now. We are five minutes away. And then I'll show you the table in situ. My camera battery is flashing, so I'll change that up when we get in. What sort of dog was it? Did you didn't tell Sausage me. dog. It was, sorry, just stopped at a traffic light. It was a fox red long haired dash hound called Ted. Um, and he had a lovely home. I wouldn't have been smitten with that really. It was nice. It was barky, but it was it was nice. Okay, so I'm back. Changed my vlog camera battery. That was a rookie error. <laughs> Hello, Maggie. Maggie's been patiently waiting. You can kind of see the chairs behind me. I'm not going to show you until it's in, which is actually becoming a bit of an issue. Um, the flat, obviously, we're on the second floor for that. And um, door frames are slightly... Okay, little one. Okay. <laughs> okay. The door frames are... Um, they're slightly narrow, so... Not ideal, but um, we're gonna have to take it back down and then through the front way just because the doorways are wider. So it's a bit of a mission, but it'll be worth it and it's really lovely. Just return the zip van, so yeah, all good. You love your little toy, don't you? Maggie Moo, you love your little toy. 
Oh. <laughs> So this is the new dining set. I am honestly so, so pleased with it. It's a 19th century. It's come from a church actually, which is really cool. So these are the church chairs. And I just love that it's, you know, it's actually got so much history and it fits the space beautifully. The reason, as you can tell, it is fine, but the wobble is not good. So I'm gonna try and see if I can fix it and maybe just pop it up for someone free to collect so they can come and grab it. And the chairs, we can definitely find a rehome for them. It's such a shame because we love the chairs, so I might actually look and see if we can store them um, because it's nice just to have extra chairs. So very, very pleased with it and I think it fills the space beautifully. It also very handily has a drawer too, so really good for like table placements and placemats, that kind of thing, napkins. So yeah, very, very happy with it. I think it looks lovely. Okay, so a quick change, literally in and out of the shower. Had a bit of breakfast smoothie because we just didn't want to waste too much of the morning. Um, it's a really simple outfit. I've gone for some whitish jeans with some Dr. Martin boots, my full leather jacket, hoodie, and a hat because it is very chilly in London. And we're taking good old Magath and Moo in town as well, which is very exciting. Just because it's such a nice day, and we both obviously haven't been in town for ages. Don't you look lovely today? Very nice. Set. So yeah, Maggie's all set. <laughs> Match Maggie's dress code. Yeah, we're, we're black on black on black. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a wander around Marylebone. I just have to return a jacket that I ordered that was the wrong size. Um, sorry, I need to get a new book because you pretty much read all the books in the house, haven't you? I have. Maybe get some lunch, that kind of thing. So yeah, I let's really go. would like a baguette. Oh, yeah, and we might get a little bit. In fact, we will get some lunch and a coffee. Get some teas. That would help. <laughs> Maggie really is a London dog. <laughs> we're just waiting for the tube at Waterloo. And she's just waiting to get on. Maggie, hello darling, good girl, well done. So we're just on Marylebone High Street, which is one of my favorite parts of London. Um, they've got really good charity shops here, but we're not going to charity shops. We're, um, we're gonna go to Don't Books, which is a bookstore in Marylebone and it's just a really nice part of London, let me show you. It's the fanciest waitrose over there. <laughs> and they've got lots of like lovely independent clothes shops. There's a cancer researcher there, which is really good. And then this is the Marylebone here, which is a really lovely pub restaurant on the corner. A Marylebone, Marylebone, Marylebone. So we just stopped off at a little coffee shop. It's very lovely, just opposite the Oxfam, which is over there. Got little Maggie, hence why we're sat outside. Good girl. And we've ordered some coffees. I like this plant, this is very nice. It's called um, 31 Below. So we just had a look in Daunt Books and it was lovely, it's the first time I've ever gone and literally lived in London for so many years. It was a very big bookshop so if you're ever in the Marylebone area I definitely recommend um, having a look in. And they're dog friendly. Maggie did very well because it was quite busy in there but she did brilliantly. I was going to take Maggie to Regent's Park now to have a little run around so she can stretch her legs. So we're just walking Maggie in Regent's Park. She just met a lovely black Labrador. <laughs> Didn't you little one? It's nice when we're in town with her just allow her to stretch her legs. Come on. Come on, good girl. And that is exactly what she's doing. Hello guys, so it is quarter past seven and we just got back from town. We had to detour via um, Tesco because the time has finally come. Obviously Maggie is now into her final, well, I mean, she's still a puppy, her final puppy stages. And as such, um, has had minor, minor accidents along the way in the flat and our flat is carpeted so. Um, obviously, we've you know we've still got a lot of our tenancy left here, throughout 22, 2022. How long do we have left? Like around six months until we're looking to start moving. But so we went to Tesco and got some Rug Doctor fluid and uh, a giant carpet cleaner. <laughs> we are just renting it for 24 hours, so we haven't bought it. I didn't know what you could do, but Zara's family used to do that a lot because obviously they've had dogs, so. Um, we just thought it'd be a really good idea just to give the carpets a bit of a refresh, so that's going to be tomorrow's task, we're not going to do it tonight. We were going to do dinner, but 
all day. All me and Tara really fancied is pizza. And on the way back to the tube, on route home, we walk past Home Slice, which is one of our favorite pizza restaurants. So when Zara was collecting the Rogue Doctor in Tesco, we got some pizzas just to pop in the oven, just to have a really simple dinner. Um, but we're gonna be cooking dinner tomorrow, so I don't feel so bad. Um, also got some bits in the charity shops and uh, Daunt books as well. So I'll show you those, but I'm just gonna chop up some potatoes to make some fries. <laughs> Zara actually picked up one of um, Jamie Oliver's pizzas. This is a spinach and mushroom with, uh, it's a sourdough base with creamy porcini mushroom sauce, roasted garlic mushrooms, mozzarella and spinach. This looks delicious. I've never had a Jamie Oliver pizza before, so I'm very excited to give it a go. It looks very good. So we're having a gin and tonic this evening just because one of our favorite things to have. Um, so I actually went to Solcombe last year and picked up a bottle of their Solcombe um, Rosé Gin. It was really delicious. So we're gonna have some of that. This is for Zara. And um, we've never opened it, so I thought it'd be nice for her to have. And I'm going to pop one of these um, Violet Blossom Tonics in from the Artisan Drinks Company. And then I'm going to have the remainder of the Edinburgh Rhubarb and Ginger Gin, which is so delicious, with um, a Double Dutch Tonic. Oh, this is Cucumber and Watermelon. Maybe not. Maybe I'll have a regular tonic. Uh, light Mediterranean Tonic. That'll be better. So these are the bits and bobs we've got in town, let me show you. So, first thing, and most importantly, is this book. So this is a book <laughs> dedicated solely to pasta. I'm, I mean, as soon as I saw it on the shelf, this is a bit of means, or as you know, I mean, pasta's basically in our DNA, isn't it? It's... Honestly. If you cut us open, we would be a tube of, like, a penny. Uh, my esophagus is spaghetti. <laughs> We love pasta. Um, so this is a book uh, created by Eric Triul and Anna De Conte. Um, and yeah, it's pasta every day, for every way for the every day. There's a lot in here. Obviously some of it isn't relevant. There's some with seafood and some with meat, but there's a lot with vegetarian. And there's uh, pasta with olives and olive oil, pasta with fresh herbs, fresh herbs and golden crumbs. Like, it's just the fundamental like basics of pasta. Um, I got this in uh, Oxfam, right? It was, yeah, four pounds for a book of this quality. And then I also got another crime thriller because you know I absolutely love psychological crime thrillers. This is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, Hop sorry. We've read some of her books before and they're really good. And it's the author, Paula Hawkins, wrote The Girl on the Train. If you've never seen or read The Girl on the Train, Thoroughly recommend you do both. I'd probably say read it first and then watch it. It was really good. Uh, this was two pounds. Zara also got two books in Oxfam. We took it in turns to go in. Uh, so the first one Zara got is Summer Water by Sarah Moss. Sharp, Searching, and Utterly of the Moment. It's quite a small book, this one. Um, one of the very best contemporary novelists. Uh, this was two pound fifty. And then this one's are also got, it's called The Dinner by Herman Koch. And it's a brilliantly addictive novel that wraps its hands around your throat on page one and doesn't let go. So yeah, we went into Daunt Books and I picked up this book. So this is The Waiter. Um, I love anything food related and I'm quite enjoying reading Stanley's book as I've mentioned many times. Um, so this book is a meal you won't want to finish. Welcome to the Hills, a restaurant student tradition and clinging to the faded splendor of old Europe. A neurotic waiter tends to the desires of his clientele, aristocrats and artists, wealthy widows and roguish entrepreneurs. He observes all of their dramas with wit and sharp filleting knife. So it sounds very, very good. And they've described it as a sly amuse-bouche of a novel, deliciously rich. If you ever do get the chance to visit, um, it's an Edwardian bookshop with long oak galleries and graceful skylights. The soul is unique, literally just off of Oxford Street in Marylebone. Thoroughly recommend going there. Oh, actually, yes. And then last but not least, we got this. So this is a piece of gift wrap. It's four pounds, but we're gonna use it as a print. Um, they had so many, didn't they have so many in there? They had loads, didn't they? Um, so we got this, obviously not for the vegans, <laughs> um, but this is a bees and honey. It's kind of like an old style print. So um, I'm gonna leave this unraveled and flatten it out, but I just really like that. So we're gonna pop this in the kitchen so it's got loads of like little drawings of bees um, and like their comb and then the culture, the bee box, what you call it, a beehive, sorry. 
Beat box. A beat box. A beat box. And um, yeah, it's kind of like vintagey looking. Just really liked it. And um, yeah, for four pounds, they had so many in there. They had one for like pasta. It's just really cool. So yeah, love that. I think that's gonna look lovely. We haven't got a frame for it as of yet, but we're gonna try and grab one because we're going to Plymouth next weekend. Bizarre sister's birthday. Um, and Plymouth has some brilliant charity shops, so we might be able to find an old frame for that. Dinner is served. We've got a lovely margarita, a Jamie Oliver pizza, some garlic bread, gin and tonic, and some fries. And some lovely garlicky dip. Good morning, happy Sunday. So it's quarter past nine on Sunday morning, so we're up and at him, and um, we're gonna be doing some carpeting this morning. If you can hear the worm in the background, that's Zara hoovering our carpets. I'm actually really excited for this. It's relatively straightforward. We were on trusty YouTube to uh, get the tutorial of how to use it, and basically just pour this into the machine with some water, and then you're away. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so we've officially done the whole flat. Like, this machine is so good. It's a little bit loud, so um, if you do hire a rug doctor, bear that in mind. We dropped our neighbors a message downstairs and just like, hey, your ceiling isn't caving in, don't worry. We're just carpet cleaning. But the carpets are, I mean, they're not gonna look perfect, but they're a damn sight cleaner than what they were. But yeah, the whole flat is clean, so we're just gonna get ready for the day and go and walk Maggie, and we've left the windows open so all the air everything out and hopefully when we come back it'll be smelling lovely. Okay, so we're all showered and dressed after the carpet cleaning this morning and gone for another very cosy outfit. This um, overcoat is so warm. Hello little one, you excited for a walk? So yeah, overcoat is Ted Baker. Hoodie is the same one as I had on yesterday. This is just a ASOS one. Some vintage Levi jeans and some Vans which are very comfy. So we're gonna go and return the Rug Doctor back to Tesco and um, yeah, walk Maggie and then I think we're gonna get some lunch as well. So we just came to get some fresh produce. We're going to do a little crumble for dinner. So we're going to do some coconut apples. I think one should be enough to you. Or two? Maybe get two. Yeah, this is lovely. It's called Village Hall Foods in Clapham. So we've come for coffee at a place called Common. It's literally all we're looking at. We're gonna order some coffees and some croissants and maybe a toasty. They have almond croissants, which are one of my favorites. So I was gonna get a hot chocolate. And then I think we're gonna go for a pesto and some dried tomato or cheddar toasty. Lovely. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. And great news, we've come back and the carpets have fully dried. It smells so much fresher and cleaner in here. And the armchair that I got at Facebook Marketplace has came up beautifully, all of it. The stains have gone, just needs to fully dry. We did the rugs too. It's just brilliant, so, so happy with it. And the dining table looks fab. I'm thinking maybe like a nice rug could look um, good under this, like maybe like a Persian style, like a Turkish rug. That might look quite nice. It's a real joy. Oh, actually, let me show you. Has a little draw underneath. So I popped the table mats and the napkin rings that we have in there. So that'd be that's quite handy to just leave them in there, and close the door. So now it's gonna pop all of the rugs and everything down and re <laughs> furnish the flat. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna do um, an apple crumble because I've got some apples in the grocery store and a uh, cottage pie. <laughs> So this very excitingly arrived while uh, we were sorting out the table yesterday but I didn't get around to opening it. So this is my new desktop computer which is so exciting. A little bit of context, this little laptop here is basically what I've been working off of and behind is a monitor. Now it's a really, really good idea um, if you just wanted the outlay of a laptop to not have a desktop computer as well. However, I do spend a lot of time at my desk 
and having my laptop plugged in 24 seven, charging the monitor so I can use two screens just really nukes the battery. So I was looking online and I actually found this on a website that does refurbished and reconditioned Apple iMacs and they are a quarter of the price they would be to buy new. So I'm, um, yeah, I'll leave it linked down below. I'm just about to unbox it. Fingers crossed it's all okay. Yeah, here goes nothing. Guys, I genuinely feel like this has been one of the best investments I've made in like my job. The sheer size of this is absolutely huge. So this is the uh, 27 inch iMac and it's big. So it can mean I can have multiple screens going on at the same time. My desk feels so much less cluttered now instead of having a laptop and a monitor. It's got my phone on charge. I've just got the keyboard, the mouse, my earphones I use to edit some stationery, my glasses. This is gonna make editing video content so much more streamlined and so much more just easy, which is just very exciting. So I'm, um, yeah, thoroughly beyond overjoyed about this purchase. Okay, so I've stepped away from the computer before I just get engrossed in it. I'm so happy. Um, I'm gonna make dessert first this evening and then make dinner. So dinner is leftovers. If Sorry about the washer. Uh, if you saw my video where I was talking about eating from our freezer, we basically need to clear it out, which is so good. If you didn't, I'll link that up top. Um, but this evening in the microwave, I've got a cottage pie. Well, like you call it like an allotment pie because it's a veggie uh, defrosting. So I'm gonna pop that in this little pot. And then I've got some swede that I've just been defrosting, which is like a root veg. So I'm gonna do that with potatoes and mash it up. And then there was some um, green beans in the freezer that I'm defrosting. I'm gonna do that with some carrots. And then I picked up these huge cooking apples today in Clapham. Um, so I'm gonna stew these down with some cinnamon and then do a crumble with them. Okay, so we've got multiple pans going on. So in this one, I'm just gonna brown the apples and soften them down with some unsalted butter. Um, I've got the frozen Sweden here, just about to add the potatoes. And then to the apples, I'm gonna add nutmeg, mixed spice, ground cinnamon, and maple syrup. Dinner is served. This is the cottage pie. I popped some cheddar cheese on it as well to make it nice and crispy on top. And we've served it with some buttered green beans and some fennel and mustard carrots. Just gonna dig in. All right guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so lovely to be back out and about again after the 10 days indoors. That was, yeah, it was touch and go. <laughs> but I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll link everything featured down below. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Take care, lots of love, bye for now.